Now we want to continue with the scenario and for this we'll create the create memo. Actually we'll use the same app, so let's um, start the create going invoices app. But the important thing here is um, in the transaction at the top, we'll open the list of possible options and well, we will go with this one which is create memo. Now for the customer, let's enter the ID of our customer. For the invoice date, we also want the same as the posting. And the credit uh, memo is for the full amount, so 11,000 euros. We will select calculate tax and we will just again double check that we have a 10%. Now let's switch to payment tab, baseline date, it's okay, uh, today's date. And we will again switch the payment terms to pay immediately due net. Now let's um, just enter the general ledger account, which is the sales revenue. Of course, uh, the amount for the credit memo, which again we said it's in full, so 11,000 euros. And we will use the same profit center. for the credit memo. So now we're here. Okay. We have entered all the data necessary uh, just uh, to create the credit memo. So let's click post. We have the warning message about the term changing the terms of payment. That's okay. And now um, we have a document here. What it's really important, document number. What it's really important is uh, also for us to notice that the numbering is completely different. This one it's six uh, one six. It starts with one six. And um, for example, the invoice of course was like one eight. This of course uh, also has to do with the fact uh, that they in this server they are using different. Uh, journal entry types or just uh, what we call uh, typically the document types. So each document type has a different uh, document numbering and that is also the difference. Um, okay, let's just uh, quit the app. And we finished the lesson inviting you to uh, just uh, take note of our email uh, which is one, two, three, learn sap at gmail.com so yes uh, one two three with numbers um, and there we can answer all your queries immediately also um, all your comments so thank you so much for writing and for the attention